very good afternoon friends and again in this video we are going to continue solving the questions from exercise 7.5 these are the NCERT questions and uh, uh, these questions I am trying to solve them one by one each and every questions but sometimes because we are in a hurry to just finish the questions and then some because of the human impulsive nature sometimes we also prone to make some mistakes so sometimes mistakes happen but these mistakes, mis mistakes will be very ordinary or silly kind of mistakes like the sign mistakes or sometimes a small petty calculations if this happens I expect you to correct them like for example in this particular questions when we, we have already recorded the solution of this question but when I just was going through this then I found that there was one very silly mistake I made and that is here when you have 1 over t minus 1 minus then when I wrote at this place when I break this down this integral into 2 integral then at the place of this I wrote plus by mistake so this one this kind of mistakes I might have made some places so I expect that you just correct them or you can point out that mistake in the comment section so this is dt so this will become minus just nothing like this if it had been plus now you are getting log mn now it is negative so this will become log m over m so in this condition this will go down and this is only this little difference it will make and this is done so now let me clear and I go to the question number 16. Question number 17. This goes like this. Find the integral i of cos x over 1 minus sin x and 2 minus sin x. 2 minus sin x okay so first thing we need to do that we need to write this let sin x equals t then on differentiation this gives you cos x dx as dt so this equation becomes now dt over 1 minus t 2 minus t now on the partial differentiation front you have to divide this or resolve this into 1 over 1 minus t times 2 minus t that is written as a over capital A is over 1 minus t plus capital B over 2 minus t now take calcium A 2 minus t times B 1 minus t times 1 minus t 2 minus t and this is 1 over 1 minus t 2 minus t so if you compare this numerator so a is capital A that is 2 minus t plus b 1 minus t let t is 1 let t is 1 therefore 1 equal to a and if you take t as 2 then you get 1 equal to minus b because 2 minus 2 is 0 and the 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so we have a as 1 so this becomes 1 and this becomes minus 1 so now our fraction is broken down like this so now this question can be written as integration of 1 over 1 minus t dt minus integration of 1 over 2 minus t dt means instead of integrating this part we are integrating these two so this gives you log mod 1 minus t over minus 1 because of this differentiation of 1 minus t and this gives you log mod 2 minus t over minus 1 plus c now this makes it negative and this makes it positive so let me write this as positive this as negative then the log m minus log n is log 2 minus t over 1 minus t plus c and there you can write log mod t is sin x so 2 minus sin x over 1 minus sin x 
plus c this is done so question number 18 goes like this is the question i have copied all these questions only i do not know their answers and i do not know uh, these are not solution these are just questions so again i say that if i make some silly mistakes in the sign or in the calculation because this is not a live class nobody is there to remind me and till the time you realize that there is a mistake the video is complete so you can make it some correction for yourself at least this kind of sincerity is required so here we have i is x square plus 1 x square plus 2 over x square plus 3 and this is x square plus 4 dx so first thing is let x square is m you can take any variable i just write m so this becomes m plus n 1 m plus 1 m plus 2 over m plus 3 m plus 4 now both of these are the polynomials of the same degree it means we have to express them into the better form like the proper fraction that is so m square plus 3m plus 2 and this is m square plus 7m plus 12. So if you divide m square plus 3m plus 2 by m square plus 7m plus 12, it goes one time. m square plus 7m plus 12, and if you subtract, then you get minus 4m minus 10. it means you can write this whole thing as 1 plus this that is minus 4m minus 10 over this that is m square plus 7m plus 12 and this is 1 i take minus common and there i write 4m plus 10 over m square plus 7m plus 12 is just m plus 3m plus 4 m plus 3 m plus 4 so my integration right now can go like this but first i would like to break down this also in terms of the partial fraction so we have 4 m plus 10 the and over m plus 3 m plus 4 as a over m plus 3 Plus b over m plus four. If you take the LCM, so I just write the numerator part. That is a times m plus four plus b times m plus three, and this is four m plus ten. Let m equal to minus three. So this part vanishes, and the minus twelve plus ten is minus two. And minus three plus four is a, so a is minus two. If you write m as minus four, so minus sixteen plus ten is minus six, and the minus four plus three is minus b. So you are getting b as six. Now because of this, now we have this expression, and this expression I would like to write here only so that you can understand it. So this one goes like. One minus at the place of this, like this, you can write this as a over this. That is minus two. So I write this as plus two over because this is a minus sign. So both these terms will become negative. And since this is minus two, there is some writing it positive. M plus three. This is minus, but b is coming as six. So this is minus six over m plus four. So now, at the place of this, we have got the three forms, and now these can be written as in the proper way: one plus two over replace m by x square. So x square plus three, and this is minus six 
over m x squared plus 4. So this is equal to this and now we have to integrate this part. Now let me go from here to there and then I'll integrate this. So this one is 1 plus 2 over x squared plus 3 minus 6 over x squared plus 4 dx. We have to integration of this. So I can do it directly. Integration of 1 is x plus integration of this is 1 over x squared plus a squared. So this is 2 over root 3 tan inverse x over root 3 minus 6 over 2 tan inverse x by 2 plus c this is x plus 2 over root 3 tan inverse x by root 3 minus 3 tan inverse x by 2 plus c and this is i so this is your final answer now after this i'll go for question number 19 now question number 19 find the integral of 2x over x square plus 1 and x square plus 3 dx first let x square is t 2x dx as dt so 2x dx is dt so this becomes integration of dt over t plus 1 t plus 3 so this one can be written as a over t plus 1 plus b over t plus 3 a times t plus 3 plus b times t plus 1 i ignore the denominator i write the numerator only there is one okay so now when t is minus 3 then 1 equal to this part vanishes sorry t plus a t plus 3 b t plus yes so minus 3 plus 1 this is minus 2 b so b is minus half when you write t as minus 1 then you get 2 a is 1 so a equal to half now this one will become a is what half and integration of dt over t plus 1 this part plus b that is minus half so i write minus half dt over t plus 3 so this is half log mod t plus 1 minus half log mod t plus 3 plus c that is half log mod t plus 1 over t plus 3 plus c and the place of t i write half log mod x square plus 1 over x square plus 3 plus c this is the answer for question number 19 number 20 i is 1 over x x to the power 4 minus 1 dx now first step is to multiply x cube up and down x cube dx over x to the power 4 x to the power 4 minus 1 now let x to the power 4 is t so 4x cube dx as dt so x cube dx as dt over 4 so this becomes 1 by 4 dt and this is t and this is t minus 1 so very much same like this I'll write here 1 over t minus 1 minus 1 over t so you see what is the difference this goes here so it becomes t minus this is the same thing 1 over t t minus 1 can be written as 1 over t minus 1 minus 1 over t 
सो दिस इज वन बाई फोर वन ओवर टी माइनस वन डी टी माइनस वन बाई फोर वन ओवर टी डी टी दिस गिवस यू वन बाई फोर लॉग मॉड टी माइनस वन माइनस वन बाई फोर लॉग मॉड टी प्लस सी दिस गिवस यू वन बाई फोर लॉग मॉड t minus one over t plus c, and the later you can write this as i as one by four log mod. At the place of t, you write x to the power four minus one, x to the power four minus one over x to the power four plus one c. This question is done. Question number twenty one. Find the integral i of this. and that is 1 over e to the power x minus 1 dx okay so what can we do you can write e to the power x minus 1 st so e to the power x dx as dt now dx as dt over e to the power t and that is dt over e to the power t is t plus 1 so it means this question becomes 1 over t. This e to the power x minus 1 you can write as t, and at the place of dx you write dt over t plus 1. So dt over t plus 1. So what does it become? It becomes integration of 1 over t t plus 1 dt. Now 1 over t t plus 1 can be written as 1 over t minus 1 over T plus one, simple. So this is integration of one over t dt minus integration of one over t plus one dt. That is log mod t minus log mod t plus one plus c. That is log mod t over t plus one plus c, and that is nothing but log mod e to the power x. And what is t plus one? That is e to the power x. And what is t? That is e to the power x minus one plus c. This is the solution. Now I go for question number twenty-three. So question number twenty-two. This may be MCQ type, and this is x dx over x minus one x minus two. so we can write x over x minus 1 x minus 2 as a over x minus 1 sometimes i explain that if you have not learned it properly then you can learn and at the same time be careful because i am also a human being i can make some some silly mistake and this is not a life class that somebody is going to remind me that there i made some mistake so here i am taking utmost precautions very care But in spite of that, the human error is always possibility. A over x minus one plus b over x minus two. Take the LCM. This is x minus one, x minus two, a times x minus two plus b times x minus one. This is x over x minus one, x minus two. Now I do not need these three, so let me remove. I compare only the numerator. I say let x as one, so one equal to minus a, so a is minus one. Let x equal to two, two equal to b, so b equal to two. Now this question will become a over x minus one. That is minus outside over one x minus one dx plus b. That is two. Over x minus 2 dx. This is minus log mod x minus 1 plus log mod x minus 2 and this 2 there plus c. So this one can be written as log x minus 2 whole square over mod x minus 1 plus c because when it is squared, the mod becomes normal expression. So this is done. Now the final question of the day. and of this whole exercise this question we have already done and this is dx over x x to the power n plus 1 just so you multiply x to the power n minus 1 up and down 
so this also becomes x to the power n x to the power n plus 1 dx now let x to the power n plus 1 is still this is n x to the power n minus 1 dx as dt so x to the power n minus 1 dx as dt over n now x to the power n minus 1 dx is dt over n 1 over n outside this is dt over this is t and this will become t minus 1 so again 1 over t t minus 1 now I in this condition this last question so I would like to express it properly explain properly rather than going for the direct substitution so I write a over t plus b over t minus 1 this becomes a t minus 1 plus b t just I'm writing the numerator part from here and then from here now compare so when t is 1 then b is 1 when t is 0 then a is minus 1 because t is 1 so b 1 1 b and that is 1 and when t is 0 so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so this is minus 1 so it means this a part is negative it means 1 by n integration minus let me write minus here 1 over t plus 1 by n integration at the place of a write 1 minus 1 over t minus 1 dt and this is done this is minus 1 by n log mod t plus 1 by n log mod t minus 1 plus c you can take 1 by n common write this as log t minus 1 over t plus c and then finally you resubstitute the value of t giving you the answer 1 over n log mod t minus 1 is x to the power n and the t is just x to the power n plus 1 plus c this is your final answer this is the end of exercise 7.5 and in the next exercise 7.6 and 7.2 we'll be solving some question based on the integration by parts and that is quite easy thank you very much just subscribe to our channel and keep practicing with us